All creatures, great and small, make up the rich tapestry of wildlife on this planet that we call home. While many of these animals are majestic and powerful, the proud lion, the wise elephant, the ferocious falcon that soars through the air, there are others that are a little different. Sure, they may not have the stereotypical sense of majesty that comes with the regular showstoppers of the animal world. Wow, the biggest sketch of pinners ever. But as the old saying goes, variety is the spice of life. And these guys are certainly varied. From monkeys with irregular appendages to mind-controlling worms, here are 15 of the strangest animals that are hard to believe are real. <laughs> Damascus Goat What better way to begin this list than with the goat? And while we certainly mean the greatest of all time, we also mean an actual goat. And believe us, this entry is a whole lot of goat. Feast your eyes on this truly extraordinary creature. And while it may seem like it's been photoshopped, this abnormal animal is very real. What you're looking at is an animal known as the Damascus goat, a peculiar creature with a long neck, protruding forehead, and a seemingly unusual underbite. While it may not be the most conventionally beautiful of animals, this monster goat is actually a prize-winning species and is highly coveted in its native countries of Syria. Cyprus and Lebanon, where its superior milk is considered to be of superior quality to any other animal. While this animal has often gone viral for its distinctive appearance, with many viewers dubbing it the monster goat, its distinctive look is likely due to generations and generations of dramatically featured goats being mated together, and essentially, this species is the result. This goat of many names is an incredible creature that can often have three to four offspring per birth. So yeah, expect a whole lot more of them. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Emperor Tamarin. All right, next up, let's take a look at a wise, surreal kind of creature, one that wouldn't seem out of place in a fantasy movie or an animated TV show. Meet the bearded Emperor Tamarin a species of small monkey that's found only in the rainforest of Brazil, Peru, and on rare occasions, Bolivia. As you could possibly tell, these awesome animals take their name from the distinctive white mustache that spreads across their face, which is said to supposedly resemble the 19th century German Emperor Kaiser Wilhelm II. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll take their word for it. Measuring in at between just 7 and 12 inches, and weighing a dainty sum of 32 ounces, these remarkable animals aren't exactly the most physically capable primates, but what they lack in brute strength, they make up for with their amazing intellect. Incredibly, the Emperor Tamron exhibits some of the most complex primate social skills ever observed in the wild. As highly social animals, the Emperor Tamron lives in troops consisting of anywhere between two to eight members, which are primarily made up of male monkeys. These troops are always led by the eldest female of the group, and most grooming duties are undertaken by the male members of the species. In that case, the Emperor Tamron should probably be renamed the Empress Tamron, as it seems the females of the species wear the trousers around here. <laughs> Ribbon Seal What do you get when you cross a penguin with a seal? Yeah, you get a ribbon seal. And while these remarkable creatures certainly aren't the result of a cross-species genetic modification program, they remain to be one of the more distinctive animals of the open ocean. Native to the Arctic and subarctic regions of the North Pacific Ocean, specifically in the Bering Sea and the Sea of Okotiks, this incredible animal is distinguished by its striking coloration, two wide white stripes and two white circles against jet black fur. Yeah, you can see the penguin resemblance, right? In fact, the ribbon seal is far more unique than being just a cheap penguin imitation. And as the only living species of its genus, it's officially recognized as a fossil species, one of the oldest animals in the ocean. Ribbon seals are rarely seen out of the water, and due to their coloring, they only hunt on the ice and snow when they need to. Unlike other seals, ribbon seals do not form herds, and have been considered more difficult to catch than their counterparts. Although they've been historically hunted by humans, the practice was outlawed back in 1969, and since then, their population has remarkably recovered. There are an estimated 250,000 ribbon seals in the world currently, but due to their specific habitat, they are rarely observed. <laughs> Bald Wakari 
All right, this next one is a little weird. While many men suffer from the debilitating effects of male pattern baldness, of which there is currently no proven evolutionary benefit, this primate has made a bald head its crowning glory. Meet the bald wakari, a distinctive looking animal characterized by its bald head, crimson face and long coat. Native to the flooded Verzia forests of Brazil and Peru's Amazon basin, the wakara often measures in at around 18 inches in stature and weighs anywhere between 6 and 7 pounds. Due to its native habitat being seasonally flooded, the bald wakari is an incredibly capable climber and lives in the treetops of its Amazonian home. Amazingly, these incredible animals can often be found traveling over 3 miles a day without once touching the floor. Although they're most often found in groups of 5 to 30 individuals, there have been many cases where this species lives in groups of over 100 monkeys, forming a supergroup that can often dominate its territory. Tragically, the population of this species has declined by over 30% in the last 30 years, and due to its consistent habitat loss as a result of deforestation, the existence of the bald wakari is at an imminent threat. <laughs> Angora Bunny Ever heard of an Angora Bunny? Well, this next time you're planning on getting a fluffy friend as a pet, make sure that you know what you're getting into before you welcome one of the furriest species on the planet into your home. As one of the oldest types of domestic rabbits in the animal kingdom, the Angora Rabbit is a highly prized animal that comes in at at least 11 different breeds, including the English Angora, the French Angora, the Giant Angora, and the Satin Angora. The thing is, this species has been historically bred for the long, distinctive fibers of its coat, producing a material known as Angora wool. While it may seem like an allergy sufferer's worst nightmare, the Angora bunny is actually remarkably unique. Incredibly, the fur that it produces doesn't possess the same allergy-causing qualities of other animals, making it a safe and highly sought-after pet. The Angora is said to have originated in ancient Ankara which is now known as present-day Turkey. Sometime in the 1700s, this species was imported to France, where it became an incredibly popular pet for French royalty. In fact, it was all the rage to own yourself an Angora rabbit, and its valuable soft, silky fur became the envy of tailors and clothes makers across the kingdom. <laughs> Hickory Horned Devil this next bug is so terrifying that even animals 10 times its size are scared of it. Take a look at the hickory horned devil, a species of moth that has garnered a thorny reputation for the fear that it strikes in flocks of chickens across the country. Well, kind of, anyway. Because while this ferocious looking insect may seem scary, it's actually pretty harmless. Officially known as the regal moth or the royal walnut moth, the hickory horned devil is native to North America and is most commonly identified in its distinctive caterpillar form. In its larval state, the hickory horned evil has scary long red horns with jet black tips and a spiky exterior that makes it look like it crawled from the depths of the underworld. Well, thankfully, those spikes are just to make sure it doesn't get eaten by chickens. Yeah, believe it or not, but the hickory horned devil is actually a pretty gentle insect and its evolutionary quirk is so that it looks terrifying so that nothing will go near it. As you may imagine, it works pretty well, and once it emerges from its cocoon, it produces one of the most beautiful moths in the insect world. Never judge a book by its cover or a bug by its caterpillar. By the Wind Sailor Picture the scene. You're walking down the beach. It's a beautiful sunset. Everything on Earth is at peace until you step on something squishy. You look down and it's one of those bizarre monstrosities. Feast your eyes on the By the Wind Sailor, a species of strange sea creature that has a habit of washing up all over California's beaches. For the past few decades, social media has been frequently hit by stories of these aquatic weirdos emerging from the water, often in their thousands. While many people are quick to think that they're jellyfish, that's actually pretty far from the truth. The By the Wind Sailor is actually known as a colonial hydroid, not just a single species, but a creature that's made up of a colony of tiny individual animals. Characterized by the sail that the animal takes its name from, this ingenious organism uses its appendage to catch the wind and travel on ocean currents, effectively sailing its way across the planet. 
Given the fact they are at the mercy of the winds, they are usually found washed up in their thousands after a batch of stormy weather. Crazy! Horsehair Worms Speaking of weird, you should probably look away from this next entry if you are squeamish, because it's kinda gross. While worms aren't exactly the most beautiful species, they are often pretty much harmless, if not incredibly useful when it comes to promoting biodiversity and healthy soil. However, that doesn't include the horsehair worm, a truly absurd creature that has a habit of eating insects alive and then controlling their brain from the inside out. Yeah, zombie worms. Also known as the hair worm or the Gordian worm, thankfully for us, this creature doesn't have any desire to infect or attack humans. Yet, anyway. Most species tend to range from 2 to 4 inches, but in some extreme cases, they can measure in at over 7 feet. Primarily discovered in damp areas such as swimming pools, streams and cisterns, the adult worms are free living and it's the larvae that are the parasitic element. This creature will favor burrowing into beetles, cockroaches, crickets and mantids while it's in its larval form, where it then forces the host creature to drown itself in water, thus returning it to its natural habitat. Yeah, that's enough science for one day. <laughs> Red-lipped batfish Sure, we've seen some pretty weird stuff so far. So why don't we take a look at the even weirder red-lipped batfish. Native to the cool waters of the Galapagos Islands, this unusual fish is equipped with frog-like legs, a lipstick red pout, and a strange dangling lure that stands out like nothing we've ever seen before. Incredibly, the Galapagos Islands are the only place on Earth where you'll find the red-lipped batfish, making it one of the rarest creatures of the natural world. As a member of the anglerfish family, this variety of fish is renowned for the unusual appendages on their heads that they use to lure in prey. The strange thing is, scientists aren't exactly sure how the red-lipped batfish decided to evolve such a distinctive red mouth. The most accepted theory is that the red-lipped batfish evolved their luscious lips in order to help them attract mates, but considering that they've almost never been observed mating in the wild, it seems that that mystery continues. <laughs> proboscis Monkey Remember when we said never judge a book by its cover? Feast your eyes on the proboscis monkey, a primate that gets somewhat of a bad rep on the internet. Due to the fact that they've got a huge fleshy bulb of a nose hanging from their face. However, it's not all bad for the proboscis monkey because it's believed that some ancient cultures worshipped this animal for their unique appearance. Sadly, although they were once protected and revered, these animals are now native and endemic exclusively to the remote island of Borneo in southeastern Asia, where they generally live in coastal areas, favoring the protective shelter of the mangrove and swamp forests. Similar to the bald wanaki, as highly social animals, proboscis monkeys generally form large troops of up to 30 animals, and in some areas, with sufficient food and resources, these incredible animals have also been known to form supergroups, living in complex and intricate societies in the jungle kingdom. Sure, they may seem like some mythological villain at first glance, but they are actually pretty cool. Lowland Streaked Tenric this next creature has developed a reputation on the internet for looking like a pretty iconic Pokemon. And while this species certainly resembles Pikachu in most ways, the scientific truth behind this incredibly unique creature is an even greater story. Resembling a cross between a shrew and a hedgehog, the lowland streaked Tenric is a species endemic to the island nation of Madagascar, one of the most unique ecosystems on the planet. Their snouts are long and pointed and their coat exhibits a sharp array of spines that are used to ward off predators. Newborns of this fascinating species are actually born without their distinctive spines and amazingly, they begin to grow them within just a single day after their birth. It doesn't end there and incredibly, this animal is the only mammal species on the planet that demonstrates a process known as stridulation. It's where an animal rubs together parts of their body to produce a distinct sound, almost like a cricket does. Hey. Maybe it is a Pokemon. Gumboot Chitin Without a doubt, this next one may be the weirdest creature that we've ever seen. Feast your eyes on the Gumboot Chitin, a strange species of mollusk that's earned itself the nickname the Wandering Meatloaf. Uh, yeah, I guess we can see why. As you may imagine, this mollusk earned its nickname due to its large, reddish-brown appearance and distinctively meaty shape. 
Making its habitat along rocky coastlines, the gumboot chitin is actually the largest chitin in the world and can often reach up to 13 inches. This crazy creature uses an elongated foot at the base of its armored shell, which it uses to grip onto rocks tightly while it chews on rocks to scrape off algae to feed on. Amazingly, the teeth of this creature are capped with magnetite, an iron mineral which is harder than stainless steel. The teeth contain so much of this magnetite that they can actually be picked up with a magnet. Yeah, you don't see that every day. Believe it or not, but the gumboot chitin has remained virtually unchanged for over 500 million years. It has a simple body and virtually zero predators. It just exists and it's majestic. <laughs> Marabou Stork Next up, try not to look at this strange creature in the eye because we're pretty sure it knows all your secrets. Take a look at the marabou stork, a bird native to the continent of Africa that's become the unofficial national bird of Uganda. Considered to be one of the ugliest animals on earth, like many of the animals on this list, we shouldn't judge this book by its cover, because beneath its exterior, the marabou stork is one of the most fascinating birds of the natural world. Due to its appearance, the stork has been dubbed the undertaker bird, down to its dark wings that appear cloak-like. Standing at an average of 60 inches tall, this incredible bird has a wingspan of 11 feet, among the largest of any bird that's alive today after the albatross and great white pelican. However, there's a pretty good reason why this animal has earned its sinister reputation. In the wild, marabou storks are drawn to grass fires like a moth to a flame, where they begin their hunt flying ahead of the flames and swooping down on smaller animals that are trying to flee the blaze. Yeah, that's pretty dark. <laughs> Headless Sea Chicken Alright, we need a light-hearted entry to cheer us up. Let's introduce you to the Headless Chicken Monster, an animal so bizarre that even scientists find it difficult to understand where it came from. First captured on camera back in 2018, the Headless Chicken Monster is considered one of the most mysterious deep-sea cucumbers ever discovered and has left researchers scratching their heads as to how it even exists. This creature was first filmed off the east coast of Antarctica. The only other time that the Headless Chicken Monster has been sighted was in the Gulf of Mexico, thousands of miles apart, leaving scientists bewildered as to how its habitat could be so widespread. The truth is, the only thing that is known about this weird creature is that they're perfectly acclimated to the extreme pressures of the deep sea. Who knows what mysteries will be revealed as scientists continue to study this incredible species. Purple Frog And finally, what better way to end this list than with a purple frog? While the headless chicken monster has been difficult to study, following the discovery of this species back in 2003, scientists struggled to determine how it could even exist. Endemic to an exclusive mountain region in India, mainly in the western Ghat Mountains, it has traditionally been difficult to establish the exact habitat of this creature, given the fact that it spends almost all of its life underground. Also known as the Indian purple frog or the pig nose frog, this weird and wonderful creature lives its life underground surfacing only during the monsoon season to mate. Incredibly, unlike other underground species, the purple frog has been found to forage for food underground, feeding mainly on termites using its specially adapted tongue. Although some tribal communities have described this animal for over a century, we know pretty much nothing about it. It's weird, it lives underground, and it's purple. Well, there we have it, 15 strange animals that will leave us scratching our heads for quite some time. Which of them do you think was the strangest? Perhaps you'd even have one of them as a pet? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section below.